Hello everyone, welcome to Cross Cultural. I'm Rebecca and for today's video we're going to be reacting to another Pavarine Mohan um, video. You guys really enjoyed it, the last one that I did so I'm here with another one recommended by you lot. So this video is how do the musical pillars work? Rock melting technology? Semantics? Question mark? Um, so I feel like this was something that he covered in the other video. Am I correct? I can't remember. I feel like once I watch it, then I'll be like, oh yeah, he did cover this or he didn't. Um, so yeah, you know, I love a good mystery and I love the video that he did about the mysteries. Um, I think it was about mysteries in the temples, if I remember correctly. Um, so I'm really excited to see what he has to educate me on this time. Hey guys. I'm at the Vitala Temple in Hampi, and I'm going to show you the mystery of the musical pillars. This structure, called the musical hall, is now closed for renovation. However, I managed to get the actual sounds from these pillars. Hmm. Here's a pillar which shows a man playing ancient drums. Now, if you tap this, you will hear the sound of these drums. What? Here's the sound of a temple bell. And here is a sound similar to a school bell. How does that work? You can combine these various sounds to create even modern sounds. For example, this is the combination of the temple bell and the school bell to create the modern day doorbell. What? How do these different pillars create various sounds? I don't know, tell but me. This is nothing when you take this pillar that's made of one stone and has small columns carved onto it. If you tap on each of these small columns, they create the seven notes of the musical scale in Indian classical music, which is similar to Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti in Western world. This is what it sounds like. What kind of story existed in ancient India that could mimic the sounds of musical instruments. We can see many, many different sounds of advanced instruments like Jaltarang, which uses water waves. What? Gatam, which uses terracotta pots. And even sounds of string instruments are created on these pillars. How do these pillars made of the same material, which is granite, create these various sounds? Is it possible that the ancient builders somehow created holes inside these pillars? Because the Maybe. only way to make different sounds from the same material is to alter its density. So do these pillars have holes inside them to enable them to create various sounds. The British had the same question in mind and they not only took a huge pillar but also cut one of the small columns to see what was inside. Here you can see the column that is missing. This was cut by the British during pre-independence in 1930s and they were surprised to find that all these pillars and columns are just made of solid rock. So, if there are no holes inside these pillars, how do you make them create different sounds? I don't know. If they alter the dimensions like height, width, and diameter, you could at least make them sound mm. a little bit different. But if you look closely, all the columns have the same height, width, and diameter, yeah. yet they create 
the seven different notes of the Indian musical scale. If they're all of the same dimensions, same material, and don't have holes inside, how do they create different no idea. sounds? The only Any way ideas? this could be achieved is by changing the intrinsic density of the pillars by adding a new material to it in different proportions, like modern day alloys. Today, we melt various metals and add them in different ratios to create the desired effect. However, did ancient builders melt solid blocks of granite and mix it with other materials to create different sounds? Locals argue that the musical pillars were created using rock melting technology. As evidence, they say that chains made of rocks were hooked to these corners mm. on the ceiling. Now, this would be impossible without melting the rocks. These rock chains were later destroyed during foreign invasion, just like the Temple Tower. A chain made of solid rock. Is something like that even possible? Why do these corners have empty hooks? Based on a tip, I traveled to Kanchipuram, which is 300 miles from Humpy. And here we can see the chains hanging from the hooks oh, wow. on the corners of the ceiling. Whoa. Yes, these chains with many links are in fact made of stone. Archaeologists have confirmed that these are made of stone and were created at least 700 years ago. Wow. How could anyone create these stone chains I don't know. with primitive tools? Even today, such a technology is not possible with modern machines. What kind of machines were used in ancient times and how were they able to create these chains made of rock? But this is not even the main problem. The problem is that while the stone chains are made of sandstone, the ceiling is made of granite blocks. So how could they connect two different types of rocks at this junction? We know for a fact that this is impossible without melting the rocks. There is no way to connect two different materials using links unless one of them is melted. So these rock chains prove that the ancient builders did in fact melt the rocks and changed its density wow. like modern day alloys. Now let's go back to the That's musical crazy. pillars of Humpy. We can be sure that the rock chains were once hanging from the ceiling of the musical hall. Otherwise there's no need for these hooks. Now, to create musical pillars, we not only require rock melting technology, but also enormous understanding of sounds. Did ancient builders have a much deeper understanding of sound, just like modern day scientists? Today, we use a technology called cymatics to understand sound and vibration. When struck with different musical notes and vibrations, different geometric patterns emerge. Is it possible that ancient builders were also using cymatics? Maybe. And more importantly, are these patterns carved in the temple of Humpy? Here, you can see cymatic patterns carved on the ceiling what? of the Humpy temple. These carvings clearly resemble the patterns similar to the musical notes. Each musical note creates a certain pattern and the ceiling of the musical hall is full of varying that patterns. Is so Even better, clever. These carvings show sound in three dimension and today we can create 3D cymatic patterns wow. of the same sounds using holograph technology. Is it a coincidence that these cymatic patterns are carved all over the ceiling of the musical hall? Why else did the ancient builders take enormous pains to create these varying patterns on the ceiling? Now what's more interesting is that the musical hall 
is closed because people have damaged it by tapping the pillars with keys and coins. While in ancient times, musicians exclusively used sandalwood sticks to tap on these pillars. And if you look at this cymatics pattern closely, we see exactly what is going on. The women are standing in a circle tapping with sticks and the sound they create is visually depicted what? in the center. Now let's go into the main chamber of the temple to see if we can find more evidence. This place is completely dark and infested with bats, Ooh. but it once housed the idol of Vitoa, the main god of the temple. The idol is gone now, but on the ceiling you can see a very large cymatics pattern. What is the need for carving such an elaborate pattern on top of the idol in a dark chamber? So what do you think? How do these pillars create music? Did ancient builders use rock melting technology to alter the nature of the rocks? How else can we explain these rock chains made of sandstone linked to the granite hooks? How is this link possible without rock melting technology? How could one rock with columns of same dimensions produce seven different notes? Why are these various patterns of cymatics carved on the ceiling of the musical hall? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh my goodness. His videos are so good. Like, so good. I think they're one of my favorites now to, to um, react to. Wow. Just, he does so much research and you know, you can just see how much he enjoys making these videos. Oh, it's just, and it just blows my mind. I really hope that one day someone is able to explain all of these things that none of us can currently explain. I would love to know for like sure if, if um, ancient builders back in historic times really did like melt down two different types of um, rocks and then link them together. Like I really wish we had solid evidence and someone could be like, yes, this really happened. I would love to find out in my lifetime because these like mysteries just, intrigue me so much and like thank you guys for introducing me to Prav Pravri Pravmeen Mohan because his the way he tells these stories is just so good and the information he gives is so good and I just I don't understand how rock can make sounds or like different sounds it blows my mind it's so interesting to me like i've said this in a couple of videos i play instruments myself i've got some over here if you haven't seen my what was it called my morning routine video um then definitely go check that out afterwards but i showed you my instruments i have a keyboard and guitar over in this side of my room and like i know how to play them but to think that you can make music from rocks is it's just crazy to me is it crazy to anyone else <laughs> i just it fascinates me and for us to not know how it's done and the fact that they had the schematics on the ceiling is just insane these people were so clever did they know they were this clever did they mean to be doing all this stuff Oh, it's so fascinating to me. <laughs> Can you tell I enjoy these types of videos? Please, if you have any more of his videos you want me to react to, leave the links to them in the comments below because these are my some of my favorite ones to, to react to. Because it's just, oh, it's so interesting. I love the mystery about it. Oh, wow, guys, this is just, oh, just crazy. Let, let me know your thoughts. How do you think the pillars make these sounds let me know in the comments below if you have enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up if you're new don't forget to hit that subscribe button share this video with all your friends and family and i will see you very soon for a new video bye everyone